All right, welcome to the channel. Yes, I'm 50, but I still feel 24. Mentally, I'm super immature. But I don't know, everybody's doing these channels. YouTube, it's a thing. I thought I'd do one just to inspire. Nah, nobody's inspired, but whatever. Let's do this. So, finally, living a dream. Uh, been thinking about doing a van trip ever since van life things sort of kicked up and building a van. So I thought I'd just document the first day, throw it up on YouTube. Gonna leave my gorgeous house that I love so much. Pizza oven. Hey, you wanna bathe in a rock river? That one right there with hot water. You want a fire? Right there. Anyways, wife somehow wants to do a van trip. It's her dream. Although ironically, she doesn't like camping. So I'm sure we'll be stopping at the Hampton Inn a lot. Uh, I recently started skateboarding again, the Nine Club. Thanks, the Nine Club. And I'm loving that to get my fat butt in shape. But we're leaving this gorgeous house. The thing I will miss the most is pretty obvious. I mean, I love everything about my house, my life, my job. Awesome. But the thing I will miss the most is this oh, the novita heated bidet oh i get clean also these warm floors are nice and my double-headed shower i argue a lot in here with myself but connor don't you think yes no why stop anyways ah uh, little humor there so wife's already in albuquerque i'm gonna go grab her and the two wacky offspring I've bred into this world. And I'll just do a short little snippet on uh, the van. But if you want, I'll do like a, a build video. But there won't be any hot chicks and thongs staring at the sunset or yoga pants going on a hike, getting into a hot spring with the big boobs. It's just me, a 50 year old dude trying to still have fun, living in my million dollar gated state which is a super cheap house now but anyways here's the van sprinter i think it's a 2018 170 blue tech because that's the only one i could find it took like six months to find it of course i wanted a 144 4x4 but couldn't find them at the time so found this one went to a van expo in tahoe looked at all the products ordered the ones i want or at least the people that would come through man van life people are flaky they have all this stuff on, on display at these shows. You go, okay, give me that ladder rack. Oh, yeah, we don't have that. We're going to have it. It's like, oh, it's the bike industry. But anyways, I'll just give you a quick brief. Um, it's got a lot of RB component stuff. The bug screen. Do you ever need anything? RB components. Jamie's the man. Um, swivel seats like everybody. Um, my daughter and I did the shelf. It's plywood with some spray paint watched a video on that it was pretty easy to do and then we did the adventure wagon kit kit 2.0 i think i was one of the first guys to do it or at least it seemed like it when i called them these lights two colors and they're on dimmers for all that mood time with my children screaming anyways um two fans max air twos whatever and then i bought a bunch of these um campo bags they're a local company um, come in all different sizes long one small one medium one and they're cool they just come unhooked and you walk inside anyways and then we tried a bunch of different seating configurations um, I still haven't done the floor because I want to do a warm floor but we had the seat up here then we had the seat there then it was too roomy here it was not roomy there because I use this van for supermoto motocross surfing um, more of just like a day adventure van. We don't really camp that much because again, my wife goes to the campground and then she goes, I don't like this and drives straight to the resort and books a suite. But anywho, um, Moab, mother of all beds. This thing adjusts up and down or you can just take it out. It comes in three pieces. It's really cool. But um, I found these bucket seats from Bespoke Sprinter down in Van Nuys and I just put them exactly where I wanted so I could still get motorcycles in here, mountain bikes all our beach stuff whatever i found this kitchen kit it's got a sink 
And then I just use the water, my local water guy. And when I fill that up, I just throw it out into a gutter um, or a toilet. We got a bougie RV fridge, 12 volt. My dude on Down to Mob recommended these and I love this thing. It works kick ass. Um, toilet, just got off Amazon. Cartridge, just take it out to a toilet place and dump it. It's really doesn't smell at all. This is a fold down um, dinette bench that I usually sleep on. The kids sleep up top. And um, yeah, that's kind of it. I did, uh, I built my own bike rack because, God, these bike racks are like $1,000, $1,200, and they're not, they're hard to get the bikes off. So I just bought this one off Amazon, bought a hitch riser, welded it up, and we'll see if it makes it. Anyways, uh, it swings out on this rack attack, and then uh, my daughter and I did the sliding tray. Um, this is all their stuff. One wheel, I have a little electric motorcycle that goes in here. Um, our electric bikes go in there. And roller skates, some foil stuff. Recently got into foiling, super fun. But super easy, these bags, RB components. There's like a shower thing up here i'll show you um this one i got off i think just campervan.net because i wanted a second ladder one ladder doesn't really work when you're lifting a kayak up there but um these are from illuminesce surfboard paddleboard holders perfect for after surf i got the road shower if i could do that again i'd put it right here just so it's easy to fill and easy to disperse up there is kind of a pain but not that much of a pain um, got the this side ladder from Rome built. I saw it at the um, Tahoe Expo. It was such a pain to get. It came all bent or whatever. And then I fill this with water just because after surfing or motocross, I can just dump it on my head and it's, I feel a little refreshed. And then on the top, I did just uh, I built my own rack out of Unistra Zamp Solar. Um, Fiamma slimline awning pretty straightforward um, as far as naming it let my daughter name the van um, and she helped me build it and she was two and three mainly handing me all the stuff and she named it the screw van because we have so many screws in it so sorry it's not like van white or van denture or whatever the hell people name their vans um, so yeah, we're looking to hit the road and I don't know, I'll give you a daily update if you want it. Uh, this is my baton edition of all my hobbies, mountain bike, ski, motocross, flying. So yeah, I'm just a 50 year old dude trying to inspire other 50 year old dudes. Life's not over yet. We can still act like we're 14 and now we can afford stuff, hopefully, if you've done things right. I'm sure you have. Anyways, alright, peace out. Jump cut.